Motivation Monday. Every Monday morning, we bring you conversations by people who have overcome adversity in their lives, people who are doing something to give back to the community, stories to encourage you, to motivate you. Sometimes we go through things and we think we are the only ones who are going through those things. Sometimes we are going through something and we don't know how to overcome it. So every Monday, we bring you different guests who share their personal stories, and through their stories, we learn we encourage one another and we grow this morning we talk about rising above the shadows in studio with me this morning i've got a mother of two a biology and chemistry teacher and also a fashion designer elizabeth wamboy carry how are you doing i am doing well Karibu sana. Asante sana. it's good to have you on a monday morning <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> yes it's good to be here awesome uh, so rising above the shadows means there were some shadows in your life that exactly. you have risen above. And Where does your story begin? Rising above the shadows, mm. I am um, a, a, a core witness of that. Mm. Uh, I'm currently recovering from a domestic abuse. I just mm. stepped out of an abusive marriage. Mm -hmm. It's uh, three months now. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's been a journey, okay. a very long one, okay. for 11 years. 11 years? Yes, yes. Wow. I have been with this man, the father of my children, for 11 years. How many children do you have? I have two children, uh -huh. uh, two adorable boys. Wow. They are um, three years and four years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so let, let me take you back to the beginning of this relationship. Yes. When this relationship began, did, did it begin with all these things you're talking about, or was it a nice relationship? And if it began well, at what point do things change? Um, this relationship uh, began um, just normally. Mm -hmm. A young girl yeah. uh, pursuing the world, pursuing life in, in a normal platform mm -hmm. because I was at a school okay. at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Uh -huh. And when I was pursuing my degree there, the, the bachelor's degree in education, mm -hmm. at the verge of finishing, I was beginning to find life mm -hmm. and I met this man mm -hmm. uh, who was just passing by because I remember I was standing at a school gate. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just done with my classes and then a vehicle comes. Yes. This vehicle has two men, I four men inside mm -hmm. and one of them is smiling at me mm -hmm. when the, the vehicle is going in. So the smile, you know, you respond and then you don't have anything to do with it because yeah. you don't know this person. Yeah. Uh, the vehicle goes in, they alight, when it parks, they get down, then the one who was smiling comes back to the gate mm -hmm. instead of going in with the others. Mm -hmm. And this is how I meet this man. Okay. And at the beginning of this relationship, um, as I have discovered so far, I was being stalked already. Oh. <laughs> yes, I can say that because now I understand. Mm -hmm. That's how my relationship with this man began. Okay. And uh, I, I say that because um, immediately when he came back to the gate, I was waiting for a bus. Mm -hmm. And when this bus comes, the city hopper, yeah. he gets in with me. Oh. I thought he was going to the... <laughs> yes, so I was surprised as well. And you know, as a young girl at that time, you're like, mm -hmm. you know, you'll brush mm -hmm. off a guy when he's trying to, you know, yeah. tune you in. But then uh, he gets me in the bus with me, and then I get to my bus stop now, my, my destiny where I'm going mm -hmm. to the hostel. Mm -hmm. I alight, he pays my conductor before I pay him, mm -hmm. and he alights he alight with, with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we walk... So in the matter, did you talk... No, I got a seat. The city hopper is the way they make it. It has three, the two seats and, and three, three this yes. side. So I find two people here. I sit on the third one. Yeah. So he gets a seat at the back. So you never talked. We never said anything. Okay. Um, only at the gate where he was trying to tell me, yeah, give me your number. But mm -hmm. I said no. No. So now when he alights with you as you're going towards your hostel, yes. you guys engage in a conversation? Yes, now I'm worried. I'm asking him, why are you following me? I don't yeah. know you. Yes. No, excuse me, just give me the number. What's your name? You know, he's trying to, you know. Yeah. I told him no. And I, I actually, I remember I started running down the alley. Yeah. Uh, because I don't know the, this yes, guy. I don't know what his intentions are. So as I run, I'm seeing him behind me. He's still coming, you know. And, and where I was, 
it's it's a very quiet place mm. so chances are i am with with just him there are no other people mm -hmm. no vehicles passing if one passes it just passes and that's it yeah so i got this urge to run and he still walks down the alley uh, i go into my hostel gate mm -hmm. and that's it mm. so i don't get to see anything more okay but later uh that day i came out at four i went ha had my lunch then at four i had to go back to class mm -hmm. I carry my laptop and get out of the gate, go to school again in the bus, go to the library. I don't see him. Mm -hmm. But after a day or two, yeah. I come from school. I find him at the school gate again. Waiting for you. Yes. And that was it. At the school gate, uh, on and off, uh, at the hostel gate. Mm -hmm. And I'm still not giving him my number mm -hmm. until six months later. Yeah, the guy was persistent. <laughs> <laughs> Six months. Okay. Yes. So you give him your number, now you guys start conversing, you've been in yes. the relationship. The reason why I give him my number is mm -hmm. because I'm, um, I actually I think I am taking him this way for six months because there was another man in the picture. Okay. I was dating someone else then. Mm. Now it happened that this guy who was working somewhere in Mombasa with an oil company, mm -hmm. they transferred him to Nigeria. Mm. He was with Vivo Energy. Mm. So when he has been transferred, now he goes quiet. And oh. now I'm wondering, will this relationship Work, end? Yeah. Will he, you know, return? Or how has he gone? And he doesn't talk to me like for a month. Then I notice this one. Okay. Who is who's who has been pursuing me mm -hmm. or stalking me as I'm, I'm supposed <laughs> to call it stalking? <laughs> so that's it. I give my number, okay. And uh, for me, I was expecting a conversation. And mm. we did after I gave him the number, he disappeared actually for a month. We didn't talk, but oh. we, we were doing oh, Facebook, okay. Yes, okay. So as the, as the relationship develops, yes, did you ever see any telltale signs that uh, this guy could be? A narcissist no uh -huh. uh, I didn't see any telltale signs anywhere mm. because I, I I had no information okay. I would say that mm -hmm. I, I, I had no idea that there are people who are uh, uh, tagged that name mm -hmm. I didn't even okay being in school training as a teacher we hear of personality disorders yeah. and narcissism will appear mm -hmm. once in your education you know you mm -hmm. live and have an exam here and there yeah. Ac in my actual life I was expecting an actual person mm. for example when you are told about um, uh, aggressiveness yeah. uh, I'm expecting that it is going to be aggressiveness at a go mm -hmm. so there is this uh, mask falling part of it mm -hmm. that I, I didn't have any idea about mm -hmm. so that when you are now walking around and you're meeting the person you 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 don't get to see them aggressive mm -hmm. you think they are okay yeah so the the, the 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 mask falling part of it I didn't know and as we continued he was so he was so sweet you know I can say sweet mm -hmm. kind of very loving mm -hmm. you know all the actions and he's so persistent for example after I gave the number we spoke and one time I, I was in the house and I he, he asked me mm. where are you I told him I'm in the house um, in my house now uh, do you that time I had finished mm -hmm. now my, my course mm -hmm. I was renting a place yeah so I told him I'm in the house, you are welcome. Mm. So he comes to my place actually. Mm -hmm. After uh, all these six months and a seventh one where now we are chatting on Facebook, mm. he, he shows up in my house. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any idea that he wasn't supposed to come over there. It's mm -hmm. me who was supposed to go to his house actually. Yeah. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. but he came to my house. Mm -hmm. Now when he came, he was so loving, you know, he's kind, he's so sweet, this, all those things that mm -hmm. you bring, you know, the lines. And I think, I, I fell for that you actually. Fell for that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's how he was welcome in my life. Mm -hmm. And what I saw next was, um, I, I didn't get into that kind of a relationship that that's it. Mm. I, I used to go for, you know, when you're a young girl, you're still going out with your fellow girls. Yeah. I would go for my discos, you know, mm. on Friday, I get my girls and we go out. When I'm out, 
I will come back to my place at night. Maybe the, the taxi will bring me mm -hmm. at two. Mm -hmm. I find him at my gate. Waiting? Yes. Ooh. Not once, <laughs> not twice. Mm. And I, I was wondering, wow, he, he can wait at night like that? For me, I interpreted that as love. He loves me. You know, you say that, Elizabeth, and I'm reminded of a story. Yes. A lady I hosted on this very show. <laughs> yes. And uh, her husband had actually tried to kill her. Yes. And their two children. Yes. And when he didn't succeed, he ended up killing himself. Mm -hmm. And he had the same behaviors that you're talking about. Yes. And this girl interpreted that as loving. This guy would wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there's if if there's no seat next to where she has sat, the guy will stand next to her. Ataka uko atasimama. Kienda mahali yuko na wewe. Kama yuko na wewe anakupigia simu, umefika wapi? Umefika wapi? Umefika wapi? And this girl interpreted this as love. So, mm -hmm. at what point in this relationship do you begin to realize uh, something is off? So, this relationship happens uh -huh. and it goes on and on. My interpretation now is he loves me so much. Yeah. Look, he's waiting. Yeah. He's sticking over here. What if I didn't come back? Mm -hmm. You know, what if I came back with someone else? He doesn't care. It doesn't matter. So, he loves me. Mm -hmm. And now I, I get in it. And I even cut off uh, any other... Um, uh, you know, signals from any other men. Mm -hmm. Because now, look at this one. I like this one, actually. Mm -hmm. So I, I get in there. We started seeing each other. And still, he would be asking me to move in. Mm -hmm. He wants to, to marry me. He wants me to be the mother of his kids. Mm -hmm. But it was too early for me. Okay. I've just finished my school. I need to get a job. You mm -hmm. need to get a job yourself. Mm -hmm. How do you f handle a family if you do, you're not stable? So he, you know, I kept on pushing him away for a while mm -hmm. so that he can go and, you know, lay a foundation or something. Yeah. Then we kept on seeing each other, not very seriously, mm -hmm. because for me, I don't, and he's, he's really persistent that I should move in, mm -hmm. that he wants to marry me. And I was 25 then. Okay. So I, I didn't. And I keep on seeing him, I keep on seeing him, I get a job mm -hmm. as a teacher. I teach for two years. Mm -hmm. After teaching for two years at a school in Karen, I get a transfer mm -hmm. because I found a, no, I got another job as a research officer. Mm -hmm. Now when I get this job, I'm still seeing this guy. Mm -hmm. And remember when I'm even working, I have teachers yeah. in school, yeah. males who are looking mm -hmm. for wives, there are proposals. Mm -hmm. And there is one that came from my fellow teacher mm -hmm. and I tell, he goes to my mother, mm -hmm. you know, a man will go and ask wow. properly. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, when he, he's ready, he mm. will go and ask. I tell my, I remember I told my mother, no, if you take his money, mm. just know I have somebody. Wow. That is something I regret so mm -hmm. badly today. Mm. It's like I didn't have an idea mm -hmm. of how I should be taken. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I, how, how should a man take me? Mm. D did I really live a life to 25 years and even went through a course as a biology and chemistry teacher mm -hmm. and I didn't know how someone should take me for marriage. Mm. That's how it okay. happened mm -hmm. because I chose this other one okay. and left this one who okay. went to my mother. So did you eventually move in with him? The one who asked? No, this, 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 not the one who went to your mother, this other guy. Yeah, uh -huh. you see I've refused the one who is asking properly. Yes, yes. The, he, the, actually he's even asking mm. without uh, moving out with me yet. Yeah. But um, I'm rejecting that. I feel like this is this the right one. one the, yeah? Yes. So I picked the other one mm -hmm. and the other one withdrew. And now the relationship went on until uh, seven years later mm -hmm. of dating. Seven years of dating? Yes. Wow. And in these seven years, mm -hmm. there was nothing about him, about his character, about mm -hmm. how he treated you that raised a red flag? Nothing. Mm -hmm. A very normal person, mm -hmm. very loving person. Very patient. Very available. Yes. yes. He is available. But um, what I can say about that 
I actually I did not read anything. Okay. I think mm -hmm. because of I can call it naivety. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even mm -hmm. get to see that being too available mm -hmm. is not so good it's again not, yeah. because when I was working at this uh, job of mine, the research job at mm -hmm. Upper Hill, he doesn't have a job yet. Oh. And I'm even hosting him. Okay. At my place. Mm. I think when he's financially down, he will come to my house and crash over there mm. for a month. And I'm like, why are you staying here long? Mm. Then I would discover that he had financial problems. Okay. Maybe the house mm. uh, down at his place is locked up. And I didn't see all that okay. as a problem. Mm. So I, I am sitting with you here today. Mm. It's three months after that uh, marriage ended and I'm still asking. How come I didn't see that? Okay. How, how, how comes I didn't have information? Wow. How and yet you're the person who's supposed to be giving others information as a teacher, so yes. to speak. But let me ask you, so mm -hmm. at what point mm -hmm. in this relationship do things start taking a turn for the worse? Now, um, seven years later, mm -hmm. I, I get into... Um, you can imagine years are moving on. I'm yeah. at, I'm, I'm, I've turned 28, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering, nobody's asking me. You know, I was working with a certain grease company at Upper Hill. It has these white men. Mm -hmm. This one's also, there are some who will be asking mm -hmm. uh, for my hand in marriage, mm -hmm. but I would reject them, imagining that I want a baby, mm -hmm. I want a family. Mm -hmm. If I get children with these ones, and then they go abroad, they mm -hmm. will leave me here. I want a man that <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> spend my time with yeah. we we're gonna raise our children together mm -hmm. so i was imagining it like that and so i still reject those mm -hmm. i i pick him okay i want someone that i can grow with mm -hmm. these ones at work they they have money mm -hmm. him he doesn't but i believe in growing together yeah, yeah. so seven years later i'm praying he's he's you know he he asked when i was 24 now I've turned 28, around 28, 29, he's not asking anymore, mm -hmm. but we are still seeing each other and I'm praying, oh God, why don't he ask? Mm -hmm. Like, I would like a baby now. Mm -hmm. So it happens in 2017 when we had this uh, long election that was not ending. Mm -hmm. I, I, I go to his house mm -hmm. and I, I had a business that I was running then. Mm. I, I had a job and then I had a business that I used to do to design kitenges at yeah. around Bomas of Kenya. Yeah. So at that business also, it was not working properly because customers are gone. I used to rely on the foreigners from, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the ones who come from Ghana, Nigeria, who mm. come to the Catholic University, the whites at Karen, yeah. they would buy so much. And, but now they are not buying. Mm -hmm. So the, the business had derailed. I went into his house. Uh, at that time now is when I hear, um, you know, time is going. Mm. And you know, I love you so much. I don't have money for your dowry, mm -hmm. but I love you. Why don't we crown this love with a baby? Mm -hmm. I want you to be the mother of my children. And I feel like, to me, that sounded like a proposal. Mm -hmm. And it, th those things will come later. Mm -hmm. Now the dowry, you mm -hmm. know. And I'm like, okay, Af after all, I love him. Mm -hmm. If it, it's about money, money will come. Mm -hmm. And when I give in, mm -hmm. I've been asked about this baby that I'm also longing for. Yeah. And so I let go mm. and I get pregnant at mm -hmm. the end. It, that election was around the end of 2017. So I get pregnant around January mm -hmm. 2018. When I get pregnant, I'm still at my place. Um, I've not moved in mm -hmm. actually as a wife, but I'm now pregnant, still at my place. I've gone back to work, I'm back to my business. Mm -hmm. He actually, and it was quiet in 2018 January for a while until I noticed now I'm pregnant mm -hmm. and then I alert him. When I alert him, he says, he, he calls my mother mm -hmm. and says that I'm going to take my wife and my child. Mm -hmm. He called my mother. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You don't call somebody's mother. Mm -hmm. You go. You go. Show, show up. Yes. Mm -hmm. So all, all these things, you know, it's, it's all upside down, mm -hmm. and I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. And uh, for me, uh, the, the information he wants to put across is that he wants to take his wife and the kid. Mm. For me, that's nice. 
So I move in. Mm -hmm. When I move in, I'm about one and a half months gone. And uh, he says, oh, you know, you are getting this child of ours tired. What are you going to do in Upper Hill? Mm -hmm. you, you, you will get sick for nothing. You know, that time you have money sickness. Mm -hmm. And I, he, he, you know what he's saying? Can you resign? I am the man oh. of the house. I'm By gonna this time, does he have a job? No. And he's asking you to resign? Yeah. Don't tell me you resigned. He will hustle. Don't tell me you resigned. I'm going to tell you I resigned. Oh my goodness. I went to the office, resigned from my job, uh -huh. and I went back home. Home where? I had I had gotten a good job. I was doing well. Yes. I was able to pay a house in Karen Hadi. A rental house, twenty five thousand yes. shillings for, for, for a month in a in a rental one bedroom. Yeah. Finding them there is very difficult. So twenty five thousand a month I could pay that. Yeah. But I leave that because he loves me and he's the man of the house. Yeah, but he has no job. Yes, and I go to his bed sitter. Are you a MasterCard holder? If you are a MasterCard holder, I've got some great news for you, my friend. So you had better listen up. Are you planning a vacation? Maybe solo, maybe with your spouse. You want to take the children somewhere. You're planning to fly out. My friend, whether it is to see the Great Wall of China or the Burj Khalifa in the UAE or just within locally, the beaches in Mombasa or in Kisumu, I'm a PM Nanda Ugoturukana, <laughs> my friend. Wherever it is, good news for you if you are a MasterCard holder. You need to see the world differently with MasterCard and Kenya Airways. Enjoy up to 15% off when you pay with your MasterCard on www.kenya-airways.com. www.kenya-airways.com using the promo code MasterCard. If you buy your ticket this month of June, 1st of June, to the 30th of June 2023 and you can redeem your booking until 30th December 2023 you're eligible for that discount so don't miss out on this great offer the discounts include economy and business class to and from Kenya Airways Network this is what you need to do you need to check out the website www.kenya-airways.com see the routes where this discount is applicable and make your booking remember use your mastercard to make the payments and use the promo code mastercard mastercard the safe and convenient way to travel and to pay terms and conditions apply this week on motivation monday we're hanging out with elizabeth one boy who's a teacher sharing her journey with us some comments coming in liz from dubai you also say even you need to understand this how now we will get to understand shortly. D, you say, having been with a narcissistic man, I hear her. I see my self-esteem was so low when we met. It say jump and I would be up in the air asking how high within a second until the day I made the choice to leave his place. This one says, my story too, there's pain, but God is merciful. God bless you, Elizabeth. And then John Gidanga, you say your story is indeed captivating. Please allow me to ask this, apart from just loving him, what really made you to make such a bold decision of quitting your job, decent job, and moving him with him in a bed sitter? It sounds stranger than fiction. Elizabeth, the good one, dear. What is this thing that made you resigning? Make that mm. <laughs> resigning, Manenos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I, I had this uh, picture of a perfect family. Mm -hmm. As a wife, you know, yeah. you, you are supposed to handle the home, you know. Mm. He is the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. I had that notion at the back of my mind. Is this something you always desired since you were a little girl? Yes, and I would tell myself that I want to be in the house. Uh -huh. I want to keep the home, keep the kids. Yes. Why, why should we leave them and, and go out there yeah. claiming that we are breadwinning? He is there. So the moment he suggests that he is the man of the house, mm. I feel like, wow, that's it. That's it. This is what I've always My wanted. dream, yeah. But now, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that after you quit your job mm -hmm. and you move in with him, mm -hmm. and now you're totally dependent on him, you're expecting a child, yes. is that the time you began to see changes? And if yes, what changes did you begin to see? Yeah, before I, I, I have just quit the job now, mm. and here he goes. Um, 
you know i love you now you're going you are my wife now you don't go to a man's house mm. with with possessions mm -hmm. so i do cheap sales in you a sell hurry. everything yeah what? a tv here a fridge here so that you go to your husband's house he is the one to take you in no possessions he takes my clothes and i am pregnant and now i have a babe he loves me wow and i go into the bed sitter but the, the cheap sales now i sell some some money i had um some some layoff i didn't get much because i'm the one who decided mm -hmm. so you don't get to go away with anything okay so the little that i have in the account i had these cheap sales that i've done in the yeah. house and now i go i have some little cash but still i have a small business running yeah. the one i was running the kitenges yes so i get into the house and i'm still going to my business mm -hmm. now but i'm not going to the job and i have this morning sickness you know the first three months are very mm -hmm. difficult for some women mm -hmm. and i was that type mm -hmm. so there was a lady with me who was working for me at this um kitenges shop mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes I wouldn't go, sometimes I would manage to go. You know, at that time, sometimes you just want to, f to lie down yeah. there. But it's because you have an option to lie down mm. there. Some women don't have that they option, have so they yeah. usually go and puke at the, at the mm. job or at the workplace, you mm. know. So that is what I was supposed to do. But I think he came with this pampering okay. effect. Okay. And I, I felt that I have morning sickness. Mm. Now, after I'm in this house, he says, ah, look, why are you keeping this lady here now at the shop? Mm. You can do this yourself. You mm -hmm. know how to do these things. I fire my girl. Mm -hmm. I, I, I send her away. Now I'm the one who's going to run that shop. Yeah. I am pregnant. I have this uh, morning sickness. Mm. This business, remember, I established it because when I was at work, she's the one on the tables yeah. and behind the walls. Yes. That's how I'm running it. Yes. So first of all, I didn't even calculate that I, I, I need to catch up with these customers. Mm. Again, I'm pregnant. You know, this is tailoring. Mm. <coughs> like how much? Mm. How much are you going to manage, you know? Yeah. And I have sent highway. Wow. Let's fast forward this story because our time is almost running. Now. Yes, so, so <coughs> I'm the one who is running the shop. After a month, I can't even get half the money that I was getting. Mm -hmm. And remember, I don't even have the salary. So um, the, the owner of the shop wants money. I try to pay some little, little. Then mm -hmm. I felt like he's promising to pay. I ended up owing 72,000 bob. Wow. So he's promising, I'll pay, I'll pay. He's not paying. I felt like I'm going to accumulate this. And this money that I have in this account, yeah. I want to go with it for mm. the sake of this maternity. So the shop gets locked up. And now I end up in the house mm -hmm. so that the, the owner of the shop now reclaims the machinery, yes, the stock. To, to pay for what you owe him. Three months of pregnancy. Mm. Now I'm in the house. No mm. shop, no job. I'm just there. Mm. He'll bring me food. He loves me so much, you know, for those few days. It didn't take a month. When when exactly three months pregnant, mm. I I am in the house and it's very chilly. He comes home in the evening. Mm -hmm. I cook for him. I prepare his food the way I you know I was set when I was going mm -hmm. there as a wife. <laughs> and that night, the first sign was um, he's already had his food. He's in bed. Mm -hmm. I have to clean up. Then I join him. I take a hot water bottle mm -hmm. to warm myself up because it, it's chilly and raining. Yeah. I go and tell him, hey, baby, you want a cuddle with me? I miss you so much. I'm sleeping in a bed and he's over there. I'm mm -hmm. on the other corner. Mm -hmm. I know I, I don't understand why the distance. So mm -hmm. I ask him that. And he turns around, putting a hand across and he feels this warm bottle. Mm -hmm. He pushes me out of the bed mm -hmm. and I hear, you want to burn me? You mm -hmm. want to kill me? You're not going to kill me before I kill you. Aye. I'm the one to kill you before you kill me. And I'm explaining this is a hot water bottle. Mm. It's a pad for hot water. When I'm explaining, he starts blowing me on the head, kicking. What? Yeah. And I'm three This has never happened before. On the floor. Yeah. I'm on the floor. He's kicking me and, and hitting on it, blows, you know, on the mm. head and slaps. And I didn't understand that, so I go to the, it, it's a bed sitter, it has a sofa somewhere, yeah. so I, I, I go there and sit, and then he's cursing, he's so mm. worked up, I have never seen that for seven years. Wow. 
uh, now I have seen it at night around mm -hmm. 10 it is raining heavily mm -hmm. I can't even scream yeah and he takes the padlock and locks the door mm -hmm. and puts the key with him in bed. Mm. So I am left there and then he wakes up again. I have a mirror, the mm. one we use for looking mm. at ourselves. He takes the mirror and crushes oh. that mirror with the hand. Mm. And the, I'm seeing this for the first time. Wow. He's crushing this mirror with the hand and you know it's, it's, it's cutting yes. him, you know. So there's blood all over. Yes. And I'm there. It is so scary. I am three months pregnant. He crushes that mirror and then he's, he puts it somewhere. He even goes to the kitchen, gets that thing for ma garlic, yeah, crushes the one it. For crushing, yes. Yes, puts it in a plate and says, If you scream in this house tonight, I'm going to feed you with that glass. Wow. You can imagine. Now, what happened to me you now that was the first time? Seven mm -hmm. years I've never seen this man yes. shout. Yes. So now, how do I retract? Mm from the seven years mm -hmm. now to run away from this immediately i started feeling like it's not him mm. he it's uh, something is wrong he's gonna be okay okay after some time he's gonna go back to the seven to the years man he was. Yeah. Uh, we have like five minutes literally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so so this new person Mm -hmm. that has surfaced you've never seen him like that before yes. how long does he continue to be in that state and then at what point do you decide enough is enough i need to walk away so now he makes me apologize oh. and and takes me out he doesn't want to discuss it mm -hmm. then that keeps on repeating itself uh, he will beat me today then tomorrow he'll say i'm the one who provoked him mm. uh, years went i got the baby he, he wants money from me, he's suffocating me with a pillow because he wants my PIN number. I go wow. to maternity, he doesn't come, he doesn't take me to maternity, I'm taken by a, a stranger, a friend, mm -hmm. and he's the father of the child. Mm -hmm. I get the child, I come back home, he's just quarreling over nothing. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I, I was leaving him and coming back with the kid, carrying my baby, going to my mother's place and coming back mm -hmm. he, he he becomes so sweet and then he beats me again so all this time are you are you telling your mother what you're going through yes what is your mother telling you um you know where the shoe pinches yeah uh -huh. yeah because she will tell me no this is dangerous because herself yeah. she left uh -huh. her own marriage so she would tell me i won't stop you from going back uh you just find out if you can okay it, it's up to you mm. So uh, I'm choosing to go back. She says, What's "Don't go back." Mm. I choose to go back. When you look at when you look at the years you were with this man, mm -hmm. and when the violence and this narcissistic behavior began, mm. what's the worst he's taken you through? The worst he has taken me through is beating me when I am eight months pregnant mm -hmm. until I had a baby who had a crack on the head. That oh was hospitalized goodness. at St Mary's Hospital. He is okay now. He's three years, two months. Mm -hmm. That is the worst thing. The second worst thing that I don't want to ever have, uh, have see him face to face is he has been threatening to kill me. Mm -hmm. And on um, 16th February mm. this year, he strangled me with a metal mm. at a death point. Mm. I fought with him and I got to escape that. Did you report to the police? Yes, I did. Okay. But nothing much came from the police. Well, at least you reported. Yeah, but it, it's at that point now, mm. because that day I screamed and mm -hmm. screamed it out. The other times all these years I've not been screaming properly because you'll be threatened. Mm -hmm. Then this time I screamed. Mm -hmm. And I screamed and screamed because I didn't want it to go. I didn't want that to yeah. be the situation again. And then now he ran away. Okay. And he's still at large. Oh, since he ran away that time, he hasn't come back. Yes because he was f confronted with a scream yes are you getting any help for you because of all these things that you've gone through are you seeing somebody are you talking to somebody to help you process and heal from all these things yes yes i'm undergoing counseling mm -hmm. at uh, there is a counseling center called um, all smiles counseling center it's westlands actually i'm scheduled for today afternoon mm -hmm. at 2 i'll be taking mm -hmm. a session they are doing a very good job okay um three months ago i could not express myself wow. i could not remember sarit center what yeah i had sarit center and i was like what, was, was, what was that and you know i used to work in this upper hill nairobi was yeah. uh, you know at the yeah. back of my and i am hearing sarit center i can't remember 
Nairobi Hospital, mm. the one opposite Kenyatta. Yeah. I, I hear Nairobi Hospital. I used to work there in the mm -hmm. laboratory. Mm -hmm. And I can't, can't remember, remember it. It's not coming. Mm. I hear of the expressway and I think expressway is there in Kakamega at the border. Uko. Wow. And I see it in April when we have parted with. So it means if we were still together, I wouldn't get to see that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like uh, this counseling has brought me back. Mm -hmm. And it is from within me that I have agreed that this man never loved me. Mm -hmm. I have be, so far even the dressing now I'm really trying because mm -hmm. I feel good like this. Yes. I didn't get to do this for mm -hmm. 11 years. And I feel like I'm reclaiming my life back. Yes. Even when the therapists are doing this for me, mm. it has to come from within. Mm -hmm. And I am taking that and mm. I am taking it violently. I'm not going to let it go again. Yes. So it, it has to come from within. Yeah, it has to come from within. Yes. Mm. And I feel like three months later, mm. I have moved on. You've seen some good progress in your life. I have moved on. Okay. Yeah. What do you see for your future? Are you planning to go back to work? Are you planning to raise up your business again? Yes. Mm. Actually, I ended up in another show, which is a very good show because I have seen the hand of God. Mm -hmm. It's like God sent me there. Mm -hmm. And people have made a lot of beautiful noise. Mm -hmm. Beautiful noise. And I didn't know. Th this man came into my life and made me believe that that is what it is, what he wants the world to look like. Yeah. But people have shown me, mm -hmm. I've met people who have brought another reality that the world is full of beauty. Yes. It's only that I had not met those people. Mm -hmm. So I am hoping to get back to teaching job, nice. even though at the moment I have not gotten a school yet. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the process of registering myself with TSC. Mm -hmm. So if even anybody who is out there who's seeing me and they know how they can get me at a school, mm -hmm. I'll appreciate. appreciate. Yes, but what? so far, mm. so good. Okay, finally, what would you tell somebody who's listening to us mm -hmm. and they are in the position you are in, what would you tell them? Yeah, especially women. Yeah. I was uh, on, uh, on air another time and so many, 90% of all those people who viewed me mm. are women who said I am I, I am in the same, same situation. situation. Yes. I am going through the same thing. Mine is worse than yours. Mm. So what I'm going to say here right now is um, wherever you are, my heart goes out to you and your children mm -hmm. and even some men who are going through the mm -hmm. same quietly. All of you out there, may God come to you up, up to your case at his own time. When mm -hmm. he does, mm -hmm. everything turns around because God has come up for my case. Yeah. Everything has turned upside down and I'm proud of it right now. Mm -hmm. Ask God first yeah. and ask him sincerely mm -hmm. with all the sincerity and I'm telling you, it will work out. Then second, please, please, please hate hate what is happening to you mm. abuse we, we we get stuck in the houses or in relationships with abusive people it's not our fault they just they are just out there hunting us out mm. so it's not your fault just we, if you realize that you're being abused yeah. just hate it hate the abuse and hate it passionately mm. that is it's it's only at that point that you're able to get out to and get go out, yeah. i got to hate it I got to hate what was happening to me for mm -hmm. all those 11 years and it, it, it took, it has taken a very short time for me to Three move to on move because mm -hmm. I hate what happened to me. Another thing is, most of the times, you will never get out of it unless you hit rock bottom. Wow. He had a metal by my neck. Mm. It, that was at a death point. Yeah. That was my rock bottom. That was your rock bottom. And I'm not going to allow that again. In your life. I am okay alone. Elizabeth, thank you so much for coming here. Yeah. I believe God will open up something for you. Yes, Pastor. You're passionate about teaching. Mm -hmm. I do believe that God has gone before you. Yes. And God will connect you with the right people. Mm -hmm. And you will be back teaching. Yes. And uh, you will be back also ministering <laughs> to women yes. who are in the situation that you are in. Yes. Because God has given you a message to give them. Amen. Our time is up this morning. Thank you so much for being a part of Motivation Monday. I hope that Elizabeth's story has inspired you and encouraged you. Before I leave, I need to remind you one more time, if you are a MasterCard holder, there's something good that you need to tap into. If you're planning a solo vacation or planning a vacation with your wife or your family, this is the chance to see the world differently with MasterCard and Kenya Airways. My friend, whether it's the Great Walls of China, 
or whether it is the Baj Khalifa in the UAE, whether it is the Statue of Liberty in New York, the beaches of Kenya in South Africa, there's something going down. You enjoy up to 15% off when you pay with your MasterCard on www.kenya-airways.com using the promo code MasterCard. Buy your ticket this month between the first and the 30th of June 2023 and you can redeem your booking until the 30th of December 2023. Don't miss out on this great discount. The discount includes economy and business class to and fro Kenya Airways Network. So what do you need to do? Glad you asked. Log on to www.kenya-airways.com. Check which routes are applicable where this discount is concerned and book using your MasterCard using the promo MasterCard. MasterCard is the safe and convenient way to pay. Terms and conditions apply. Until next Monday for another Motivation Monday conversation, do have a good day. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new fresh content every day. Stay tuned and enjoy fresh uplifting content.